Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can get Windows 11 early. This doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to load it up right now, but you should be able to get it earlier than the general release. And there are a few things to mention, but I'll get to those when we get to the relevant step. This is all 100% official from Microsoft. There's no dodgy link that I'm going to send you to on some website with an unstable release. This is all 100% official, but there are some risks involved and we'll get onto those. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the method. We need to start by ensuring that our PC is capable of running Windows 11. This has been causing quite a few problems and a bit of uncertainty over the last few days since the announcement. A lot of people have been seeing that their PCs aren't capable of running Windows 11. There are a few methods to work around this. The likely cause is the requirement for TPM 2.0. That can be turned on in the BIOS, so you might need to do that, but we do have a way to check. If you scroll down to the bottom of the first link in the description, this is the official Windows 11 page. There is an option at the bottom of the page called check for compatibility. If you click on the download app button here, it will start downloading the Windows PC health tool. Once it's downloaded, click on it once and allow it to install. Now it's already installed on my system, which is why I've got this, but it doesn't take too long to install. Now that we've got that downloaded and installed, we can open it up. So search for it in the search bar. And then when it opens at the top, there should be an option called introducing Windows 11 and you need to click on check now. This is where it will tell us whether our PC can run Windows 11. As you can see for me, it says this PC can run it. Initially it didn't. When I first tried it, it says I was unable to run Windows 11 and all I needed to do was head into the BIOS and enable AMD's FTPM and that solved it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to BIOS and TPM, there are a few things you can look up online that will help and potentially this method to get Windows 11 might not necessarily be for you. That's because there are risks involved and troubleshooting things like that could be quite common. After checking to see if you can run Windows 11, we first need to sign up for the Insiders program. You can do that by following the link in the description and then by using your Microsoft account to complete these steps to sign up. We'll now get to the place where we can actually opt to install it. To get there, head to the main settings page. You can get there by clicking on the cog icon within the start menu. In the settings, head to update and security. Now at the bottom of this list, there should be an option called Windows Insider Program. On this page, it should say get started somewhere at the top. You'll need to click on that. But what we're signing up for before we do click on that is the Windows Insider program. This is essentially where you can get preview versions of Windows before they're released to the general public. And there are different versions that we can get, which will depend on how early we're allowed to get Windows 11 and future Windows 11 updates. This is official from Microsoft and it's used as a testing place for people to get early versions and feedback to Microsoft on bugs and things that can be improved. Follow the steps after clicking on get started. It should take you through it nice and easy. You'll need your Microsoft account. And I do recommend reading through each step very carefully as it outlines some of the things that are involved and the risks. You will likely need to restart your PC in order to get to this page. So do that and then return to the video and we'll look through what this means. Once you have signed up, this page should look something a bit more like mine. If you click on the current version here where it says beta channel for me, you've got three options to choose. This will determine how early we can get Windows 11, but it also has different risks involved at each stage. Remember, I'm not responsible if you choose one of these options yourself and it causes you problems. The dev channel is the top one. This is where you would get Windows 11 earliest, potentially as early as this week. However, the risks of the dev channel are so high that I would advise against this option. You can go for the dev channel if you really want to get it earliest. However, I would advise doing this on something that isn't your main PC. If you've got a backup one, that would be quite good. Also choosing the dev channel means you can't really exit it. There might be some ways around this in the future. However, the only real way to get out of the dev channel and back to a stable build is a clean install of Windows, and that would potentially involve losing all of your files. The dev channel builds will probably be quite unreliable, not always the case, but it's potential that these could cause quite severe problems. Again, it's unlikely, but not something you really want on your main PC, especially if the only way out of it is to clean install Windows. 
If you don't have much technical experience and you're not really sure what many of these things mean, for example, you don't know how to install Windows Clean from a USB stick, then I would definitely recommend not choosing this one. The only people that I would recommend choosing Dev Channel are those that are capable of fixing a lot of problems, being able to put up with these problems, and if they need to clean install Windows, then they can. Again, this would probably only be on your secondary PC if you've got one. The beta channel is probably the best of both combined. You'll still get the version a lot earlier than the official release. These builds will be much more stable than the dev channel, and it's easier to escape from the beta channel if for some reason it's causing you problems. You'll still probably have to wait a while before you can actually update to the stable version, but you can do that through the beta channel, but again, it might take some time. And these could cause problems with your PC, so again, probably choose this if you've got a secondary PC, or if you're highly skilled and you know what you're doing. The third and final option is the release preview channel. You'll still get this earlier than the official release, but a lot of the problems from the previous two channels will have been ironed out, and this will be much more stable if you're an average user. The timeframes at the moment for each of the builds are a bit up in the air. The dev channel is likely to get it the week that this video goes out, the beta channel hasn't got any official release date yet. My guess would be between a few weeks to a few months. There are a few bits on the Microsoft Windows Insider website that talks about it being in late summer. The release preview channel will probably be a few weeks or months before the official Windows 11 release date. Before you go ahead and choose any of these, I would recommend doing a lot of further research on the Windows Insider website. There are a lot of good forums and places that you can find out a lot more as well. Please make sure that you choose the one that you're happy with and you know that the risks involved can be quite severe if you choose the dev channel and the beta channel, there are still risks there. Once you've chosen the channel, you'll need to go back to the settings page in the update and security settings and go to Windows Update. If you click on check for updates, it'll look for the update and if you've opted into one of the channels, it will likely apply that update, but it could take a few hours or days. And so that is how to get your hands on Windows 11 before it's officially released. Please take note of the advice I've given when it comes to choosing the right option for you. There are a lot of risks involved in this, and I don't want you to ruin your PC or some of the work you've got on it. As again, I'm not responsible if you choose one and it doesn't work out. And remember, with the dev channel, you can't necessarily leave that. You would be stuck in it, potentially, until you have to reinstall Windows completely. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows PC. Help support the channel by visiting the store. The link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you found the video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.